Good morning. On today's lecture, I'll show you the rotation. And uh, you know that whenever you are, you are describing, sometimes you need the transformation matrix to describe the rotation. And uh, it's one mark, but students find it's very difficult to memorize or, or remember which one is which. Like, like, like if, you were, if you are having 90 degree clockwise rotation, the transformation matrix would be 0 minus 1. 1, 0. 90 degree anti-clockwise would be 0, 1, minus 1, 0. <coughs> Excuse me. 180 degree rotation is minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Now, in every matrices, you can see 0 and 1, but problem with the place, where it should be, where should be 0, where should be 1, where should be minus 1, where should be plus 1. This is most the difficult things for the student. The way I, I, I do it, uh, just, just think like this, okay? Draw on coordinates, uh, the grids, X and Y grids. You know, this point is the origin. And from this origin, find out the coordinates of the unit. This, this is going to be one, zero. You know that, one, zero. This is going to be 0, 1. This is going to be minus 1, 0. And this is going to be 0, minus 1. I think you can remember this. Okay. Now, for rotation, go anti-clockwise from here to here. Okay. And we say it's 90 degree anti-clockwise. Or you know that it's a positive 90 degree. Because whenever it's going anti-clockwise, we call positive uh, uh, 90 degree positive rotation. This one, 180 degree. <clears throat> this way, from here to here. And this one here, we call it 90 degree clockwise. Okay, clockwise rotation. Now see how we remember that. Okay, uh, we don't need to memorize that. Just if you remember this unit one, and if you just remember, we're gonna go anti-clockwise just skipping the first quadrant. This is 90 degree anti-clockwise. Opposite of this is going to be 90 degree clockwise. And the this one over here is going to be 180. Either way, from here to here or here to here, you come, it's 180 degree. Now, see how you can relate that. <clears throat> 90 degree clockwise, see that the arrow shows from here to here. So go from this unit to this unit, coordinates. Coordinates of this unit to this unit. Zero minus one. 90 degree clockwise, 90 degree clockwise, 0 minus 1, and this one, 1, 0. And for 90 degree anti anti-clockwise, see, arrow shows from here to here, so 0, 1, and minus 1, 0. 180 degree, minus arrow shows from here to here, so minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. It's that easy. If you can remember that, okay, it's very easy. Uh, probably this is very messy. I have, I have drawn this one. Okay, 90 degree anti-clockwise, or we call it positive 90 degree, and this is 0, 1, minus 1, 0, anti-clockwise 0, 1, minus 1, 0, then 180 degree from here to here, minus 1, 0 to 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1, and 90 degree clockwise, or minus 90 degree, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Okay, this was the tricks to remember transformation matrix. What about the formula? What about the formula for the coordinates? Now, if you were thinking uh, your point is AB, okay, in rotation, okay, look at this AB, all right? And then whenever it's exactly opposite 180 degree, just change its sign. A becomes minus A, B becomes minus B. For 180 degree, because 180 degree is completely rotating to the other way around, from east to west, or from west to east, it doesn't matter. Okay, however you think like that. So it's exactly 180 degree. So A, B, coordinates of this point, if you have this point, A, B, you make this one minus A, minus B. All right. Now, whenever it's 90 degree clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's just switch the places, okay? This becomes, B becomes in the place of A, A becomes in the place of B. 
the problem with the sign okay now over here see that this side x is negative on the on the left side of the grid x is negative so it becomes minus b and this remains a positive and this side you know that x coordinates is positive so that's positive b and y coordinates is negative so it's negative b so formula if you if you are looking at a b whenever you are doing 90 uh, go for 180 degree first that's going to be minus a minus b all right and in these two places we, we're going to change the uh, the point of the coordinates b here a here and then over here also b here a here now whenever it's 90 degree clockwise 90 degree clockwise is in the third quadrant and third quadrant x coordinates is positive so this is positive this is going to be the negative okay see that clockwise 90 degree clockwise b minus a b minus a and this is anti-clockwise it's over here so in this side x is negative so this now b is in the position of x coordinates so we put minus b a so this is how you remember the coordinates the formula for the coordinates okay so i hope you like it you have this uh, tips and tricks to remember the transformation matrices and over here tips and tricks to remember the coordinates of the transformation point okay i hope it was helpful to you uh, i'll see you in the next video uh, with the uh, tips and tricks of reflection how to remember the transformation matrix and the coordinates thank you have a good day